What's going on, everybody? My name is Ben, and welcome back to the bench for another episode on our 172nd scale PBY Catalina for the Pearl Harbor Group build. Today, we're going to go ahead and push on with this awesome little model, and I want to go ahead and start off with these guys. Now, these are little 172nd scale figures I pulled out of the spares box, and I've been kind of toying with the idea of putting some sort of population here inside of the aircraft. Because keep in mind, we are going to be making a little bit of a diorama with this, and we do have some spinning props here with this wing and the engines. So we need to go ahead and have someone in there controlling those engines, and we might as well just add in some figures in the very front. Now, I don't know exactly how that's going to look. I don't really paint figures all that often, so it might be a little bit of some trouble, but we're going to try it out and see what we can do. Now, talking about pilots, guys, I went through the spares box. I did find a couple other candidates that might have worked. We've got this guy right here and he is actually a 172nd scale British pilot out of an RAF Tomahawk. Now this is a nice looking figure but unfortunately it just is too bulky. Like it doesn't fit in the seat very well. These guys right here, these fit in the seat much better. They're probably one of the better figures I have here in the stash that might work. Now this of course isn't necessarily 100% accurate in terms of size and scale, but these do fit nicely right inside those bucket seats. So I'm thinking, you know what, let's just try it, right? Let's just see what we can do with them. Granted, they are Japanese pilots from a KI-61 and a KI-44. And yes, the irony is not lost on me that I'm using Japanese figures for an American aircraft for the Pearl Harbor group build. But to be honest, I think they look pretty good. They have decent room for modification, and I think we can go ahead and clean up any sort of detail that might really oust these as a Japanese figure, and we'll just paint them up like Americans. I think that'll work okay. Plus, you'll notice you're not really going to see a whole lot of them in there, so I don't think it'll be a problem. Now, to be honest, these figures aren't too bad. Yeah, they're a little bit on the soft side. The detail isn't necessarily as crisp or as clear as some of the modern figures, but that actually might work to our advantage because, like I said, these are Japanese figures, and we're going to put them in American PBY, so the uniforms are going to be drastically different. So I'm going to go ahead and take my jeweler files and we're going to sand down some of the details and we'll paint them up with that buff color for the overall flight suit. We'll add some yellow for the May West Life Preserver and we'll just go ahead and modify them as we can. Now the figures do have some sync marks in them and some ejector pin marks so we need to go ahead and clean them up but once we get them cleaned up, sanded down and then painted up like American figures, I'm hoping that you won't really notice that they aren't, that they're in Japanese uniforms. So that is my goal and really it's the only option I have. So these figures will take care of the cockpit but I do have another set of figures I want to go ahead and see if I can't use utilize. I picked up these on Sprue Brothers and this is a set of 172nd scale aircraft pilots from World War II, Japanese, German, US and British pilot figures. And I'm thinking of using the American figure there with the leather jacket leaning up against the prop of the Wildcat. I want to go ahead and use that figure to add in a little extra detail and some spice for that center blister area with the guns. I think I can put him kind of on the walkway or something to add in a little extra spice, kind of change things up just a little bit. And if nothing else, it'll give me another opportunity to paint a figure because as you well know, I don't really paint figures all that often. This is going to be kind of interesting. Now I plan on using the Zenithal style of painting, which is a black primer, followed by a real easy, like a light gray, followed by a white. I go ahead and pick out all the highlights. So we're going to go ahead and do that for these figures. We're going to clean them up, get them all ready to go, assemble what we need to assemble, and then we're going to go ahead and put them into the aircraft. So fingers crossed, guys, this is going to go well. We're going to try it out, see what we can do. Let's go ahead and jump into that first time lapse, get cracking. Let's have some fun. Thank you. 
All right, guys, we are back. And as you can see, our pilots are nicely installed and painted. They look okay. They're not perfect, but they'll work. And then we have our gentleman standing here in the gunner blister area, leaning up against the wall or maybe shutting the door or doing something. You know, you can make up your own story as you go. Glue these guys in, put the control yoke in their lap. And so I think it looks okay. You're not really going to see a whole lot of them anyway with the glass covering them over, but this gives you a little bit of added interest. So I think we are looking good to go ahead and start sealing up the fuselage. And again, you're not really going to see much of these figures anyway. So it's just a bit of an added Easter egg. No big deal. So with that, let's go ahead and jump into our second time lapse and let's get the rest of the fuselage kind of finished up. Let's install the windows, build up the ends of the wings at least, get the fuselage ready to go, get it all nicely assembled, fill up any ejector pin marks, do a little bit of work on the rear tail planes, and get this thing looking like a PBY Catalina. So let's go ahead. We are almost there. Let's keep it going. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, everybody, we are back, and I wanted to go ahead and give you guys a look at just how big this wingspan is for this PBY. Now, keep in mind, this is only 172nd scale, so this thing must have had a massive wingspan in real life, but let's go ahead and just kind of dry fit these wing tips onto the center portion of the wings, and you'll get an idea just how large this aircraft wingspan is. Look at this. This is massive, guys. So when you go ahead and mate this up to the body itself, let's go ahead and hold it up here, as you can see. It's a pretty impressive looking aircraft. This is only 172nd scale. I probably should have gone down to 1144 scale to keep it a bit more manageable. It's going to take up a lot of shelf space for sure. But that's half the fun, guys. We are moving forward. And I think, honestly, with a little bit of cleanup, these wings are going to look great. Very happy about that. And I think we are ready to go ahead and call it quits for today. We've got the fuselage done. We've got the wings done. These engines are already done from last time, so that's going to be good. I think everything is coming together nicely. Some parts will require some cleanup, you know, like the tail planes and the wings and all that. But otherwise, we are looking actually actually pretty decent. The seam lines here are a little bit more prominent than I would like. I went ahead and glued everything together with a mixture of the quick setting Tamiya cement and some of the testers liquid cement. A little bit of an issue around the tail section. The undersurface is fine. We got that opening still here for the wires. So that should be easy enough. And we just have to go ahead next episode, come back with some super glue and fill up some of these crevices, get this thing sanded down. So finally prime and paint. So yeah, we have lots of work to do. I also painted up the front turret with this blue gray from Mr. Color by Gunzi. It's actually a really nice looking paint and I think it looks looks awesome with this right here. So that's going to be the majority of the aircraft, at least at the top surface. Undersurface might be, I think, is an insignia white or maybe a very light ghost gray. I'm not really sure. I need to check back my references. I want to make sure next episode we come in and we get all of these seams fixed up, glue on the clear parts, and then we can go ahead and get the tail planes kind of figured out. I thought about maybe readjusting the rudder, cutting that out and positioning it differently. I don't know if I'm going to do that. We'll have to see how I feel. But other than that, we are looking pretty decent, guys. We are really moving here. I'm having such a blast with this particular build. So until next time, you guys know the drill. Go out there, get yourself some bench time, have some fun, build something cool. And we'll see you back here on the next episode of Ben Builds for the Pearl Harbor Group Build and episode number seven of the PBY Catalina. Thanks so much, everybody. Take care, and we'll see you soon. Thank you.